Right, good morning, guys. Got Ben with me. Morning. Morning. Right, good morning, guys. Welcome to G's Tight Lines. So Ben and I got up at Cracker Sparrows this morning. We've crossed over the Tamar. We've got a stamp on our passport, and we are currently parked at Exeter Services. Um, we've been a powdered on those, got coffees, and ready to hit the bank. So today, Ben and I are going to be fishing on the Exeter Canal. Exeter Canal. Um, we've got three species in mind: pike, perch, and hopefully maybe some chub. So we've got a real good variety of lures and swim baits and all sorts with us, but we'll go through that with you when we get to the bank. Um, so for fishing today, we've both affiliated with the Exeter Angling Association, ordered our tickets online, six pound. So if you're ever in the area and you want to wet a line, six quid is not a big ask, is it, for a day ticket? So uh, it makes the journey that little bit more worthwhile. So Ben and I are gonna, without any further ado, get off. We've got 20 minutes, probably-ish, drive to where we've got to get to. But before we do go, Ben, I have a friend. So Ben and I, as you know from our previous videos, Ben is my fishing buddy. Ben and I have fished together for over 10 years now, haven't we, mate? Probably. Well over 10 years. We're good mates, ex-colleagues. Um, but due to work <laughs> commitments and me being away and Ben's work commitments, we haven't fished together for a couple of months. So he hasn't seen my merch yet. So there you go, mate. There's a little present for you for your, for your box. You, you can stick that on. Tight lines. Look at that for advertising. All right, guys, so we're going to get off. We'll see you down on the bank, and hopefully we'll have some action for you to um, enjoy and share with us. Guys, thanks for joining us. See you later. Tight lines, and we'll see you down there. Welcome to Exeter Canal. There it is. Ben's already in wet the line, and um, I think we've already seen a few perch showing. So I just wanted to run through you with the setups I'm going to be using today. So first and foremost, my weapons of choice. So I've got my Abu Black Max um, bait caster with me, loaded with 20 pound braid and a steel trace on the end for the pike. So I'll be chucking swim baits, large plastics, etc. with that in the hope of some crocs. Just put him down. And then the trusty old um, Thousand Series Gunky Finesse. So with this, I'm going to be using the spinners, um, drop shotting, super light rapalas, etc. Hoping for perch and maybe some chub. So gear wise, in here, got a nice variety of Ned rigs. So I've got a load of Ned rigs here that I've already pre-prepped, all ready to go. I've got some big heavy plastics there, the pike little fizzies um, in fact there's one on a 12 and a half gram that we prepped earlier so we'll be giving that a flick and spare wire traces clips etc and then in here got a nice variety so I've got got me floating rack we'll be chucking that along the margins seeing if there's anybody fancies coming up having a chump Got various swim baits, smaller rapalas, and my old faithful slow sink super minnows. So we've got a real good variety in there. I've got some jointed baits, I've got some smaller swim jerk baits. So in addition to them, also got let me just put that down before I drop it. Also got a nice variety of MEPs there. So I'll give them a chuck. And like I've said in previous videos with the MEPS, you can squeeze that those barbs in, but also somebody commented on one, the previous video from Lock Dune that another good method is just to break off one of those um, prongs of the treble hook. So you've just got a double, especially when it comes to catch and release and fish care. Just gonna put that down. So speaking of fish care today, really important guys, if you're gonna be catching larger pike or even the jacks and large perch, chub, Make sure you've got your unhooking mats. This one's great. This is the um, Corum snapper one. So as you've seen in previous videos, it's got the measurement inside for measuring your fish. And also my scales are zero to this mat. And because we're intended on catching some decent sized fish, nice big net. So this is my Savage Gear rubberized net. So it's, the hooks don't catch and it's also better for the fish. So just make sure you're well prepared for fishing on the canals, on the rivers, on the lakes, etc. All right guys, so that's pretty much my setup today. That's a few cheese and coleslaw rolls and a bit of water and we're all good to go. So if I can just turn you around, you'll see here, we've got this nice little lock gate. So I'm intended on chucking some baits just underneath the bridge, under the structure there. 
working along this wall and then into some of the deeper areas around these weed banks to my right. So some of these weed banks along here, fishing the margins, hopefully getting some action. All right, guys, I'm gonna get myself all sorted, get my stuff packed away that I've been showing you, get a line in the water and hopefully bring you some action. Guys, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, I'll see you in a bit. Ben and I have now been fishing for probably half an hour, 40 minutes. So we started off up there. We worked all around the structure of the bridge um, and not a great deal of interest really. We saw quite a few fish show. So we've just come back over the bridge and we're gonna make our way up to the double lock gates. But we've just seen quite a bit of activity along here, sort of mid water. And also on that far margin, there was just a massive flash of silver. So I'm only guessing it was a, a big pike. So we're just gonna work this for five, 10 minutes and then we're gonna carry on heading up the path up towards the double lock gates. But um, there's definitely promise as yet, we're still to see it, but there is definitely promise in this area. So we're just gonna keep working at the moment. I've just got this small jerk bait on and um, just very slowly working it along. And in the hope we attract some gnarly predators but as yet like I say nothing but the days but yet very young quite weedy really good water clarity but as you can see quite weedy Settle in that margin and then just a few gentle taps at the tip of the rod just to get that action through the water, get the tail of it working. It's got a lovely rattle to it, this lure. And let it settle and then another crack pap. As you can see, we're, I mean, all this weed's just getting cleared here and this margin from in front of me. But I don't know if you can see, but the water clarity is, is really quite good, actually. I'm quite impressed. A bit of movement there after that went in. So we've just made our way up the toll path and we are now at the double lock gates, that's the pub over there. And um, just enjoying the wildlife, I've seen quite a few swans. And we're just gonna spend a bit of time, we might set up a drop shot. Again, just working in and around this structure and uh, chuck out some larger lures, see if there's any pike lurking, particularly in these corners and around the margins of the weed. And um, see if we can't, we can call something out. Certainly, the intention, eh, Ben? Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to get to it and um, we'll bring back some action. That's certainly the plan. I ain't got nothing to eat. Hi. Yeah. What are you lot up to? Apart from getting in the way of the fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Where's mum and dad? Hey. Yum, 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 yum. I ain't got any food, I'm afraid. Yeah. Come on then. 
Got some grass. And this. And this. No, you don't want that, dear. Go safe, you two. And you too. There's your bow. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Thanks for that. Here we go, fish on. Fish on. It's not a big pike, but it's a pike. You got it there. Ooh. Yes, fish on. Right. If you just hold them in the water, I'll get the net out, the pad out. That didn't take long. So we've struggled a bit this morning and uh, we just come the other side here of the locking gates and um, much deeper, faster moving water and straight into not a massive fish but still at all it's a fish. Right, you want to lift him into there? He's deep hooked, is he? There we go. There we go. Right, come here, mate. Do you want to just lift the net out There we go. Got it? Yeah. That's lovely, it'll come out. Yeah, it'll come out beautifully. He says. guys look at that beautiful fantastic thanks Ben there you go guys ferocious little predator not a massive fish we can hold that out for us Ben we can see how long he is good 60 60 centimeters happy with that proper job the net and we can there we go brilliant yeah thanks man right, let rest in the net he's ready to go already away he goes excellent yes that one fish has just saved my blank and um so Ben and I have swapped marks, so he's fishing up in the corner around the locking gates. And we've just met this. What's your name? Sorry, bud. Piers. Piers. So we've just met Piers, and um, he very kindly announced that he's actually one of the subscribers to the channel. So nice to meet you, Piers. Thanks for your support. And um, so Ben's moved on to a spiky like me. Um, we've both crimped in the barbs because that last fish was quite difficult to disgorge because it was in the palate of the mouth. So uh, we're just going to work this for another half an hour or so and then carry on wandering up. But looking up that way it does appear to be quite weedy but what i like about here is we've got quite a lot of moving water so it's allowing us to work these soft plastics really well so like i said we'll give it another half an hour and um, see if there's any more of those feisty little jacks about um, and then what i might do is go back onto the drop shot and just have a bit of a cast around this structure because i've seen a few perch while i've been doing so um hopefully we'll bring you a bit more action guys pierce thanks for your support very kind of you hopefully ben will get one soon and um, guys, tight lines, and hopefully bring you back some action.
Ben and I have walked all the way up from our previous location where that jack um, and it is properly weedy all the way along there's one or two clearances in the weed where we managed to stick out the drop shot but we're just dredging the bottom of weed really so we've come up to this bridge which is really it's got to feel quite uneasy standing here fishing uh, feel quite vulnerable but the weed is certainly clear but as you can see there's still an awful lot so what I'm doing Ben and I have just swapped sides and I'm just hoying that under there it's really deep letting it sink and then just retrieving it under the bridge in theory they're going to be in line this is where they'll be I'm not entirely sure how we'll land a fish from here if we were to hook one but I don't think at the moment we need to worry about that. I think our plan is is we're going to head back up to where I had that jack at the dam gates it's about 10 15 minute walk do you reckon Ben maybe 15 20 minute walk um, for me I'm, I can't speak for Ben but for myself I'm gonna put away the pike gear for a bit and um, get some Ned rigs on the ultralight and see if we can winkle some perch out I've been led to believe that there's some decent perch in there and they've been coming out in recent weeks on the Ned rig so I'll give that a go and then I think we'll start heading back towards the cards. So the other side of the lock gates, it's really clear of weed and quite more fit, a fair more bit fishable. So I think we'll give this another five or ten, do you reckon, Ben? And then um, we'll make our way back up. Just let that sink down. Oh, peace in the valley. Nearly crow's nested then. Then. Only got him, got himself an ex perch. Look at that! Fantastic. Do you want to steal? Right, yeah, got on there. So that was on the drop shot, guys. We've still we saw him on the margins, and um, we've both been getting them coming out and having a good old go. Excellent. Right. So extra canal perch. Boom. Tell his mum to come back for it. Yeah. Him. We'll wait for his mother. Great stuff. What was that on Ben? What? Just a little um pretty much the same as yours, just a little bit. There we go. Big hook for a little fish. Yeah, big hook for a little fish. There you go, mate. Proper job. Let's get some more. Right guys. It is time to head back down the A30. It is 20 to 6, so we need to start heading back. Um, what do I think of the Exeter Canal? It's got an awful lot of potential, but it's been a day of frustration, really. So we had the one pike, which is target acquired, really, wasn't it? Target species was the pike and perch. I had the pike, Ben had the perch. So all in all, a success, but really frustrating. We've had fish left, right and centre following all sorts of laws, but they just won't commit to taking the bite. So Ben and I have been chatting about it and we might leave it till later on, let the, summer, let the winter come in and maybe head up and have a go on the dead baits. Maybe, we'll see. 
but really good guys for six pound a day it's a good day's fishing there's lengths of um, canal to fish but unfortunately at this time of year there is an awful lot of weed so we've managed to find a few of the clearer spaces but yeah get yourselves up here guys or down here whichever way you are and um, have a go guys thanks for joining us please press like please how bloody rude um, please hit subscribe and guys stay safe tight lines just looking for clearances in the weeds so we're now at this bridge and I'm just hoofing this um, perch soft plastic under the bridge it's really deep so I'm letting it get in sorry Ben I just swing back there mate and into the bridge and I think I'll, um, 